But the time that I've met you in the past uh, and listening to you now and speak and how you were on the show and how you show yourself on social, you do seem to be more reserved. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, you know, when you and Claire uh, had started dating off the show and then had your time apart, uh, then got back together, people were having, there was rumors spurling that you just want to be for fame, right? But yeah. your personality, you kind of just quiet. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, like I said, my life hasn't changed much since the show. The relationships, the friendships, you know, I had a, a full-fledged life and career before. And obviously there's things that change, you know, following some, some of those things. And I'm in a relationship now. So I've never wanted to chase fame, if anything. Um, I've always said, you know, I just want respect. I want to build uh, a life and be able to do the things like I want to do, uh, live on my own terms. And at the end of the day, I want to build a family. So um, you, you got to let go of that stuff right away. And I know it's just par for the course. Everyone's got their own backgrounds. Everyone's got their um, history, right? And when people who have no concept and no idea of who you are as a human being as, and a person, it's natural that they'll gravitate towards that. And also just the history of the show. You know, there's there's no getting around it from that standpoint. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, you, you go through that, but I don't pay attention to any of that. Fair enough. I was gonna ask you, like, how do you handle the trolls and the haters? Because, you know, I know you received a lot of flack. You guys actually broke up at one point and now obviously you're back together, which is great. But I'm sure you were going through a lot when you guys were broken up. Like, how did you handle uh, all that criticism? I mean, it's it's hard not to let things seep in. And, you know, Claire and I have talked about this. We went through it in in our on both sides, you know, during the term of this relationship. Um, and I always say I can go to bed at night um, without stressing because I know the type of man I am, you know, regardless of what's put out in media and across social media. Um, you know, I know where my morals and reasons for for different things stand or have stood. Um, and I just don't consume it. You know, I think the best thing that's ever happened was going through something like that because, yeah. and I've said this to my, my family, um, you know, I'm glad I experienced something like that early. And as a man, you know, I learned a lot from that situation and I've learned a lot from the show. And while there's always going to be difficulties, uh, in life, in a relationship, um, you know, you can really come out the other side uh, if you just stay true to yourself, which is what um, myself and Claire did. And we were just private and worked on true to yourself. behind closed doors. You guys, so, I will all day agree with you right there, my man. You you and Claire both are true to yourselves 100%. A moment ago, uh, you said that, you know, you just wanna, you wanna build a family, you know, here in the future. So you talking to God, what does that family look like? How many kids we have? We have boys first, we have girls, what's up? Yeah, I, I guess I've never put it like a number uh, on that. Um, I just I just feel the greatest gift um, is to be a father. And whenever that happens, um, that's that's all I've wanted, because growing up, I had we had nothing but family. You know, we were so poor. I mean, I remember as a kid, <laughs> like hiding eviction notices because I didn't want my mom to get upset, you know, and um, but no matter what we went through, we always had a great sense of self. And that's because my parents, regardless of what they went through in life, um, really gave us unconditional love um, and gave us a sense and understanding of the importance of family. Um, you know, I'm, I'm Dale Jr., my dad's big Dale. Uh, I, I'd love to have a son, but also uh, I would cherish <laughs> a daughter and protect her uh, to the ends of the earth. But, um, you know, I, that all will happen in due time. And I think, um, you know, a lot of that's out of my hands. It's in God's hands. Are you and Claire on the same page when it comes to that? Like moving forward in the family, possibly? Yeah. I mean, we've all, we've always talked from the beginning about, you know, we, we went into this um, with the goal to, to build a family, you know? And um, our number one focus still has also been just building the strongest foundation with our relationship um, as we possibly can. So, um, and I think a lot of that shows uh, even to where we're at you know, right now, um, even with so much time that's passed, all the things that have happened in the world, you know, the things that we've both gone through individually, behind the scenes, personally, um, but also with our families, 
And, and that's our focus, just building the strongest love and the strongest foundation possible. And, and again, everything else will take care of itself.